Okay, now, creating polynomial equations. The given here are the roots. You are going to find for the polynomial equation. So, pabaliktad tayo. Reverse naman to. Given the roots, then you are going to find for the polynomial equation. So, let us have this one. The given roots are 1, 2, and negative 3. Let us find the polynomial equation. This one, meaning, ang x natin ay positive 1. Ang another x natin is positive 2. And the another x is negative 3. Diba? Yan yung lumalabas sa atin, yung x's natin. So, pabaliktad yung gagawin natin. Reverse. So, sa imbis na equate it into 1, ilalagay natin siya sa x. Pabaliktad naman. Pabaliktad ang ating form. So, it becomes x. So, since ito positive, nilipat mo sa kabila, magiging minus 1. This one, then multiply. x ulit, magiging, it becomes negative 2. Then, x here becomes positive 3. Then, equate it into 0. Then, afterwards, uh, nag-factors tayo dun ng mga nauna. Now, we are going to multiply. Ito muna, unahin natin yung uh, unang dalawa. You are going to use a foil method. x times x, we have x squared. x times negative 2, we have minus 2x. Negative 1 times x, negative x. Negative 1 times negative 2, that is positive 2. Combine like terms. So, we have your x squared minus 3x plus 2. So, this is 1. Next tayo, we have your x plus 3. x plus 3, multiply mo ulit. Equals to 0. So, we have here x squared times x, we have x cubed. x squared times 3, we have plus 3x squared. Next. Negative 3x times x, that is negative 3x squared. Next tayo, 3x times 3, that is um, negative 9x. Okay? Next tayo sa 2. 2 times x plus 2x. 2 times 3, that is plus 6 equals 0. Then, combine like terms. So, ito ay parehas. Plus 3x squared minus 3x squared, 0 na yan. So, ang matitira sa atin ay x cubed. This one, combine to. Negative 9 plus 2, the answer is negative um, 7x. Then, plus 6 equals 0. So, this is now your polynomial equation. Okay? Let's move with the another example. Let us have number 2. Sorry, number 2. We have 1 half and negative 4 are the given roots. So, we have x is equals to 1 half, then x equals to negative 4. So, for us to find it, reverse ulit. So, cross multiply mo yung 2 doon. So, magiging siyang 2x. Yung 1, lipat mo sa kabilang side, so it becomes negative 1. O, ganun lang. Times, lipat mo si negative 4, which is x plus 4 equals to 0. Ayan na yan. So, how will you check this one? Tingnan nyo, eh. 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Transpose mo dun. So, we have 2x equals to positive 1. Divide both sides by 2 by 2. Cancel out, diba? Tumabas yung 1 half. So, tama yung 2x minus 1. Kabalik ta rin niya. Then, separate. Ah, sorry. Not separate. Nalito na ako. So, you are going to multiply. Magka-create nga pala tayo ng polynomial equation. Final method. 2x times x, that is 2x squared. 2x times 4, that is um, 8x. Then, negative 1 times x, that is minus x. Negative 1 times 4, that is negative 4 equals to 0. Combine like terms. So, we have 2x squared, 8 minus 1, that is plus 7x. Then, minus 4 equals to 0. Uh, our polynomial equation, we have 2x squared plus 7x minus 4 equals to 0. Number 3, we have positive and negative 1 and positive and negative 3. Guys, pag may positive and negative, this is the uh, solution. Meaning, x is equals to positive and negative 1, then x is equals to positive and negative 3. Kapag ganyan, is squared mo. Squared both sides. Squared. 
So, we have squared then squared. Kasi positive and negative. So, meaning this one is x squared is equal to 1. Then, this one is x squared is equals, what is 3 squared? 3 squared, we have 9. Yan. Tsaka mo siya i-transpose. Ito ay kapag positive and negative lang. O kaya may square root sign. So, we have x squared minus 1 times x squared minus 9 equals to 0. Okay? Then, foil method tayo. x squared times x squared, that is x raised to 4. x squared times negative 9, that is negative 9x squared. Negative 1 times x squared, that is negative x squared. Negative 1 times negative 9, that is positive 9 is equal to 0. Combine like terms. So, we have x raised to 4 minus 9. They are both negative. So, add negative 10x squared. Then, plus 9 is equals to 0. So, this is now your polynomial equation. That is kapag positive and negative ang ating event. Okay? Let's move with another. Last example tayo. Uh, this one. We have positive negative 2, positive negative square root of 2, then we have 2 third. Okay, so we have same process. x is equals to positive negative 2, then this one is x is equals to positive negative square root of 2, then x is equals to 2 third. So, ito lang yung squared natin, yung may positive and negative. Squared yan. Squared. Then, squared mo yan. Then, squared. This one, ay, ano natin, multiply mo yung 3 doon. So, magigitong 3x, multiply mo yun, yung 2, lipat mo sa kabilang side, minus 2. Yan, yan yung isa nating factor. This one becomes x squared is equal to 4. The factor is x squared, lipat mo sa kabila, magiging minus 4. This one is x squared is equals to, uh, so square root siya, cancel mo yung square root squared, ang matitira is 2. So this one is x squared minus 2. So that are the factors na multiply natin then equal to 0. So unahin muna natin to. So x squared times x squared, so that is x raised to 4. x squared times 2, that is negative 2x squared. Negative 4 times x squared, that is negative 4x squared. The negative 4 times negative 2, that is positive 8. Then, combine like terms. x raised to 4 minus 6x squared plus 8. Ayan na. Then, multiply na natin to dito kay 3x minus 2 equals to 0. Then, multiply na. So, we have x raised to 4 times 3x, that is 3x raised to 5. x raised to 4 times negative 2, that is negative 2x raised to 4. Next, negative 6x squared times 3, that is negative 18x raised uh, cube. Next tayo, negative 6x squared times negative 2, that is positive 12x squared. Next term. 8, uh, 8 times 3x, that is plus 24x plus 1. 8 times negative 2, that is negative 16 is equals to 0. Combine like terms. Ang like terms natin ay wala. So, since wala na siya, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ito na ang ating final answer. 3x raised to 5 minus 2x raised to 4 minus 18x cubed plus 12x squared plus 24x minus 16 equals to 0. As you can see, raised to 5 siya. Tingnan nyo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, that is how will you create a polynomial equations. Hope you understand it. Thank you.